everyone welcome back to my channel i'm the bohemian budgeter i'm 20, 26 years old and on this channel we learn to better take care of my finances so that i can better take care of my life so today's video is going to be my budgeting and cash stuffing for my first paycheck of may so let's get right into it as usual i will be using the budget by paycheck book by the budget mom all right so starting right off so we are working with $880 for my full-time income. And then we are also working with $91 in rollover and nothing else in other. So if we calculate that, that is $880 plus the $91. And we are budgeting $971 today. So $971. Alive is going to get $18. Jim is getting $38. I bumped that up. PPL is going to stay at $50 a week. Subs I also bumped up, so it's now going to be a weekly bill, and that's going to be $13 a week. Tides is going to get $80, and then it's the first um, it's the first paycheck of the month, so I am going to be putting towards my car insurance, and that's going to be $19. I would do my car insurance and my car license, but I'm trying to put a little bit more money to my sinking funds this week, so I'm going to do my car license next week. So if we add all of that up, we have 18 plus 38 plus 50 plus 13 plus 80 plus 19 is $218. That equals two hundred and eighteen dollars, and if we subtract that from the nine seventy one, we're left with seven hundred and fifty three dollars to budget out. So I'll bring that on down seven fifty three. Groceries this week isn't going to get is going to get fifty. Gas is going to get fifty, and spending is going to get twenty. Our U.S. savings this week we actually had quite a bit of U.S. savings this week, so we have twenty six dollars into US savings and rollover this week is going to get $5. So if we total that up, 50 plus 50 plus 20 plus 26 plus five is five, $151 that we will be putting towards our cash envelopes. And if we subtract that from our 753, we have $602. So I am still prioritizing my savings this year. So instead of going to my sinking funds, we are going to head straight over to my savings. 52 week this week is going to get 180. Emergency is going to get 106. Our savings is going to get 100. Holiday gets 25 every week. This week, the budget mom is getting 31 and save with body is going to be getting $20. So if we add that up, that's 100 plus 25 plus 31 plus 20. And this category down here is 176. So we know we should have $176 once we finish these two categories. So travel this week is going to get 10 and wedding is going to get 15. So let's add that together. So we have 180 plus 106 plus 10 plus 15. And that's $311. Add that to the 176 and that's $487. So we need $487 to cover our sinking funds, our savings. All right, so we know that once we finish our sinking funds, we need to have $487 to cover our savings. And we started off with $602. So if we subtract the 602 from the 47, we have $115 to put into these different sinking funds categories. So I'm going to put 25 into car maintenance, 25 into health, and 25 into self-care. So that's minus 75. So we have 40 more dollars, and I'm going to do 10 into gifts. So minus 10, and that's $30. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So everything else is going to get $5. Actually, I'm going to switch that. Gifts is going to get 5, and I'm going to give Miko 10 because she has an appointment coming up. So I just want to make sure I have enough. So that's minus 30. So we have $0, and that is how we budget out our money. So I'm going to get the cash, and then we will be right back. 
All right, so I've got the cash. I'm going to set it all up, and then we can begin. So let's begin with my wallet. Here is all of my rollover for the week. That's 20, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 65. And then all of this US is going to go to the side. And we are going to be putting away 50 for gas. That same 20, 40, 50 for um, groceries. And then 20 for spending. Actually, I'm pretty sure I did that in two tens. So if I need to change it, I'll just change it later, but I'll keep it in two tens for now. So there we go. Let's grab all of this change. That's all of it. And now my wallet feels so empty. So first, let's do builds. Oh, this button. Here we go. First, we have my phone bill, and that's getting 18. So 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18 dollars. It's currently empty because I paid the bill. So it's just going to have 18 dollars so far. Next is my light bill, and that gets 50 dollars every week. So I put 50 in, and now we have 1, 2, 300, 350, 400, 20, 45. So $445 saved for my light bill. Jim is getting 38, so 20, 30, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 20, 35, 6, 7, 8. And this is also empty because I also paid well so it just has 38 right now to start off for the month subscriptions is getting 13 dollars so 10 and three ones one two and three so now subscriptions has 100 150 170 190 200 to 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17. So 217 in subscriptions. Car license isn't getting anything, but car insurance is going to get $19. So that's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So now car insurance has one, two, 20, 40, 250, 55, 60, 70, 59, 60, 61, and 62. So 262 in car insurance. And that is all for our bills. Moving on to our sinking funds. Car maintenance is getting $25. So 20 and a 5. So now our car maintenance has 100, 150, 170, 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79. 179 in car maintenance. Clothing is just getting $5 and it's currently empty, so it'll just have this 5. This envelope is coming apart. Fun is also getting $5 and it currently has 15, so now there's 10, 15, and 20. And I'm going to put these two fives down and grab ten because I'm short on fives. Gifts is also getting five. And then there's just ten in there. So now there's fifteen. Health is getting twenty-five. So twenty-five. And now health has one two hundred and twenty-five. Two twenty-five in health. 
Julian is only getting $5. Let's pick up a 5. And now there's 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And I'm going to put this down and grab a 10. So now there's 10, 20, and $30. Kiddos is just getting five dollars. So now there's 20, 25, 26, and 27 in kiddos. Miko is getting 10. She has an appointment coming up soon. So now she has 50, 70, and 80 dollars. Last year I paid way too much, but that's because she had to get blood work and everything last year. So hopefully this year it's not as much as it was last year self-care is getting 25 so 25 so now self-care is 50 70 90 110 and 115 in self-care tides is getting 80 dollars, so that's 50 60 70 and 80 and it's currently empty so it's just 80 Toiletries is also just getting five dollars. So now there's twenty, thirty, thirty-five, and forty dollars in here, and I am um, again gonna pick up a ten. Do I need travel? Is just going to be getting ten dollars. So now there's one, two, three, four, five hundred and ten dollars in travel. And wedding is going to be getting 15. So it's 10 and a 5. So now at wedding, we have 1, 2, 300, 400, 500, 520, 40, 55. So 5, 55 in wedding. And now let's move on to savings. So for our 52 week, it is getting 180, so 150, 60, 70, and 80. So now we have one, two, three thousand in the bank. And then we have one, two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, six fifty, six seventy, and six eighty. So three thousand six hundred and eighty dollars. Over the halfway mark, emergency is getting 106. So one, five, one, six. So now for emergency, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred and twenty, forty, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, one, two, three, four. So eight, sixty-four in emergency. Holiday is just getting 25, so 20 and a 5, and now there's 20, 40, 45, and 50 dollars in holiday. And savings is just getting 100, so this is the first 100 of the month, so we currently have 3,000 in the bank, plus that 100. And US savings is getting everything that we were managed, that we managed to save this month, this week which is $26. So my trip is in two days. So whatever I save in these next two days is what I will be taking with me plus this. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300. Wow, ready 300. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 3, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4. 334. We should definitely have 335. So I probably counted something wrong, but honestly, I'm not going to count it again right now. 
all right so that is all last we are going to do our may save with fatty and the budget mom so we added in $13 for the longitudinal latitude, $19 for the search, $9 for cash envelopes this week, and then $20 for save with fatty. And if we total that all up, that's 20 plus 13 plus 9 plus 9 is $51. So 20, 40, 50, and a dollar. So 20, 40, 51 dollars that we have saved so far for the month of May. And this last five dollars is going to go to my rollover so one two three four and five dollars into rollover So all of the money is put away and that concludes our cash envelopes. But before we go, I do want to color in all of my savings trackers. All right. So for our emergency fund, we have $864. So that's minus 300 minus 9, 18, 27. So minus 270 minus 160. What did I do? 134. All right, so we have $134 left. So if we minus 80, we have $54. So we are just going to be coloring $180 this week. It's the most I ever colored any of these. <laughs> All right, and we can actually do a little something on our six months savings. So here's our savings marker, and we can color up to the 3,000 because we hit 3,000 into my account. I didn't get to a month end update, but we did hit $3,000 into this account and my goal is 7,000. So we are almost, almost there. So we did that in, what month was that? April? April 2022. So over here for our emergency fund, we said we have 864. So we have $864. So for this week, which is a five, eight, I believe, we can color up, we can do up to this one, $861. So we have $864. All right. And for our 10K in 52 week, we put aside $180, so that's right here. So this savings challenge is actually going much better than I anticipated. So I'm actually very excited to see the end results for this. And I like how I'm coloring it now with like the same color for the month. So that way I can see what exactly I put in every month. So I know in April I put these. One, two, three, four, five. All right, then let's go into our budget mom. So for our cash envelope challenge, we put aside $3 from my spending on the 4th. We put aside $4 for my spending on the 5th. And we put aside $2 for my two spendings on the 6th. And that equals to $9. Then we put aside $13 for our latitude and latitude, and we put aside $9 for our hidden challenge. So I did color the whole thing. I was just in a coloring mood one night, and I was like, you know what? I am just going to sit down and color it. So I used the colors that I'm using this month to color it up. 
So now I just have to put the money in it. And here is our save with Batty. Here's the $20 that we scratched off this week. So now let's see what we're going to be doing for next week. All right, so next week we have $20 again. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys next week. Bye.